Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Scum single player episode. I hope you guys are doing well. So, today we are visiting the V1 town because we need to find a couple things for our vehicle. I'm basically going to look at the garages and probably there's like workshops in here. I don't want this to be. I want to find this um, car jack. And the alternator, because I don't want to keep having to make episodes where we're just focused around those two items. But we need that truck up and running. So, that is what we have to do. And in the process, we're going to kill some zombies. Oh. Or puppets, whatever you like to call them. And I hope it doesn't get dark on me. <laughs> I'm also hoping that a cargo drop occurs because we could use that. Um, there should be something good in the cargo drop. Maybe an alternator. Sometimes that does happen. So let's see what we can do here. I still don't have a compass either, which is one thing that I just haven't come across. I guess I could craft one as well. I, never, I haven't crafted one in a while. I'm assuming it's still part of the crafting menu. I haven't taken a look. I just kind of thought about it the other day when I was thinking about uh, things I need to craft still. Let's check this. Oh, she's over there. Let's check this garage. Okay, no jack. We got that. That's nice. What do I have in here? Okay. That's right. We dropped a lot of stuff off at the... Uh, base. Well, that's the other thing, too. I was playing a little bit earlier today with Eve, because she's now my test character, and I was testing the base building elements, the new base building stuff they have in the game. I like the elements. Everything looks really cool. Uh, I guess they redesigned it. It's just really nice looking. And it also does not take as much to craft things anymore in terms of base building elements. It's really nice. So, building a base is not as um, time-consuming. Whoa. Okay, these guys are all over the place today. So, that'll be really nice. We can build a base as quickly as possible. It's missing two tires. There's a door. I mean, I wouldn't mind one having one of these either. I do like these. They're pretty cool. Definitely have a lot of cargo space, so that's nice. All right, we'll uh, make sure we remember that's there. They seem to be wandering in my direction. <laughs> Let's take them out here. I guess I don't have to keep picking this up. I could just leave it somewhere. Yeah, they're just coming out of the doors. Let me just leave that there for now. I'm not going to forget that like I forgot the other one. I Trust me, I won't do it. <laughs> There's a police station here too. I was hoping to find what I need here, but plenty of garages, that's for sure. All 
All right, some fuel, not a lot. Oh, I didn't know there was a garage back here. Where'd he go? Nothing. A bumper? That's not going to help us. Okay, we got some screwdrivers. Red, take that. I'm gonna drag this in the middle of the street here. Let's go check these down here. I don't have a lot of space in that bag, so I'll just leave it for now. Just check around here real quick. Doors are open. <laughs> Why are they open? Another bumper? All right, so I'm thinking as long, hold on a second. Yeah, as long as we, as we're here, might as well do this police station. Might as well, right? See what else we can get. So I'm striking out with the something with the, what I want to find. I'm thinking the other place that would definitely have a carjack is the quarry. That's probably one of the better spots with the loot set the way I have it. But I also didn't check those four garages in the B1 factory. So I'm also thinking that if I strike out here, which is kind of looking like I'm going to, even though there's other places to go, um, I might have to head back to the B1 factory and do that. Well, we're going to take that uh, fishing line and get those, uh, or excuse me, search those garages. Nothing. Damn. Um, I know we're here, but we're going to search these other garages around here. Okay. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? Taking a long way around. Oh, he jumped. He jumped and died or did I kill him? <laughs> it looked like he just jumped and died. Is there a door? Oh, there is. I don't think I'll find one in here, but you never know. Whoa. Missed. All right, let's look down here quick. I still have the shotgun on me. I haven't even used. Oh, no, I don't have the shotgun. That's right. I put it away. Sorry. <laughs> Just a pistol. Okay, they're wandering out there. That's fine. Come on, game. Give me something here. We'll take that. 
My bow's in good shape. I don't know if I can find it here. Trainer's axe. Um, has a good melee weapon. Ugh. I don't want to carry anything extra like that. But I guess we'll do it anyway. Whoops. Come on. Man. All right. Well, I kind of think it's pointless to go through those. So we're not going to do that again. Let's just see what's around here. Maybe we'll find a ranger in here. That'd be nice. Ooh, there's a couple here. Take the alternate route. There's a garage there. I just said I wasn't going to do this, and I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> I'm like lying to myself. And you guys as well. <laughs> I'm not trying it. Sometimes it just uh, it gets the better of me because I want to search and loot. Nothing. Um, I don't need any more screwdrivers. I don't want any of that stuff. It's usually where our vehicle spawns out here. Why are they? Those are all open. <laughs> Nothing. All right, there's two garages there. Let's look up here quick. All right, so no vehicle spawned. Let's see what these give us. Screwdrivers. I really don't need those. I don't need those either. Damn. Oh, uh, this is not. I just hear somebody bust out. I did. I heard somebody. I don't like surprises. All right. I'll tell you what. We completely struck out here. Which is unbelievable. Really had a good feeling about this place. Ah, uh, so what, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the police station. And then we're going to try our luck at the uh, B2. Or excuse me, the B1 factory. That is what we're going to do. And if that doesn't work... 
I don't really know what to tell you guys. <laughs> I'll have to think is like I said, the quarry probably the best bet, but it's so far. It's going to be a long, a long uh, journey to get there, just on foot. All right, how many arrows do I have? I have sixteen plus the one, and my handgun. Anybody in here? whoa <laughs> there's definitely more uh all right let me see if this should this should work Make sure there's nobody coming in from behind. Come on. I've heard that sound before. Put that one to the face. think so anybody else I still hear them where are they there's another one come on They're about ready to beat that down. <laughs> oh man, that's so intense. Let's get all these arrows back, guys. Come on, there weren't that many, were there? Jeez. Ooh, food. I was getting uh, interference. I don't know with what, but it was really loud. <laughs> okay, we got that situated. Let's see what we got. Uh, we'll just use that. It's fine. All right, it's one down. You know what? Let me take my gloves off. Two down. Come on. Three down. Last one. Nice. All right, what do we got? A helmet, which we'll take. Definitely wear that. That'll help us out. Peacekeeper, uh, 45, and that's it. Okay, let's put this up here. Uh, equip these. I still don't know if I want to keep that. I'm gonna take that. Oh, that battery's taking up space. Um, tactical pants. I don't need the 45 right now. I have 20 out of 20. Yeah, we're good. Oh, they already despawned. Wow, that was fast.
It despawned. Wow. All right, what do we have here? AKS? Um, man. We're going to drop that here. I don't need all this water. Let me get rid of that. All right, let's unlock these. I went through those already, so let's get out the bobby pins. We got two here, and I think I don't know how many we have upstairs. Probably two. All right. Oh, crap. Oh, I just got that. I just hit zero. <laughs> All right, that was easier. Okay, M9 flashlight. Take that. Nothing there. Probably one caught in the jail cell. Typical. Okay, the rest of them ran down towards me. Go ahead and get our arrow back. Check the beds. I always check the beds for money. It's always money. Even if it's just one mattress, there's always money. Okay, I forgot to do something quick. Let's put Trainer's Axe right here in case we need to use it. That's probably a better melee weapon than the Bushman. Well, not probably. It definitely is. Ooh, we'll take those. Um, yeah. Let's take it. Whoops. Whip. Uh, open. Oh, it's 75%. Repair it. And there we go. All right. Uh, we'll take another flashlight. We can sell it. It works. Ooh. Oh, that's perfect. Beautiful. That'll come in handy big time. All right. Uh, let's take the gloves off. And we have two lockers. Man, <laughs> my guy does not look that good. All right, what do we got? Another peacekeeper. What a fire helmet. All right, we'll take the other peacekeeper. That's fine. And that's it. Put the gloves back on. I'm a little hungry, but it's all right. Ooh, more screwdrivers. Rather use the pink ones right now than the black ones. We'll check the roof quick. Oh my goodness. Mm. 
Whoa. <laughs> I didn't expect two of them. There's never two up here. Wow. There was never two up here. He must have been on the... I don't know where he was. I was going to say he must have been on the roof down there. There's no way he would have gotten to the top up here. <laughs> they must have just been up here. All right. I don't know where else to go in this place for a car jack. Yes, I could always spawn one in. I really don't like doing that. I don't. I want to play it like it is. Play it as if you guys are playing it on your own, you know? That's the way I like to to uh, show this stuff in my seasons. There's... Nope, I didn't even see him. Oh, nice shot. Good timing. <laughs> Any other ones lurking around here? No. Well, the night vision will definitely come in handy. That's for sure. We need to make more arrows again. I did check that one. And we're going to go get... I'm going to take this in our hands again. And we're going to be done in here, guys. That sucks. There wasn't even a car spawn. Just going to run the hell out of here. Well, we just keep striking out, don't we? In the spots that they... That I usually find... You know, car parts and stuff. I'm not finding... Well, we found some car parts. And there was an ATV in there, which is nice. Um, needs an extra two wheels, which we can get. I think we found a couple of, that had, a, had some wheels, but I don't remember where they are. And you can't take the tires off without the car jack anyway. So, I don't know. That won't come in handy, honestly. Unless I have a car jack. Alright, let's go ahead and eat something real quick while we think about... Our next move is going to go back to the factory. And we're going to jump in... The uh, other side of the factory where the garages are. Do I have a battery on me? I don't think I do. I didn't take that battery back there. Does this have a battery in it? Where the hell is it? No. Shoot. I don't know, guys. I don't know. The gas station would have been the other option, but we already did that. I mean, the airfield is a possibility. I'm equipped for the airfield. I really don't. All right. This is becoming a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. Not, not what I was looking for at all. I forgot I want to make more arrows here real quick. Oh, here we go again. It's so weird. It won't let me cut the first bush, but it lets me cut the second one. Now let's see if it'll let me cut the first one. Nope. That's weird. Uh, hold on. I was just looking at this. We need to fix this. This needs to get out of here. Whoops. Waste bag. We'll carry the money for now. What are we doing? We have to craft these. Oh, boy. So where those white buildings are, we're going to go around the right side there, around that corner. Right over there. Right where my arrows are in my quiver. That's where we're going to go. I 
Yeah, still won't let me cut it. Why won't it let me cut anything? It's definitely a bug. I have a feeling that if I just go to a random farmhouse, a little village of some sort, I'll be able to find one. I just have this feeling that it's not in, a mo in the most obvious spots. I only need four. I don't know why I crafted so many. All right, that's all I want. All right, let's keep going here. We're going to run back. I mean, we did get some good stuff out of there. I don't know if we're going to keep this toolbox either, but we'll see. It definitely will come in handy for base building. Uh, but we found two peacekeepers. Not the greatest of guns, but to sell, they're definitely worth it. And, of course, we found the night vision, which is going to be helpful here pretty soon. I would have to take a battery the next time I find one. I hope I don't run into a bear. Because it's not going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> yes with the base building as i was saying with um as i was playing with eve i was just trying to find a way to incorporate the cabin into the actual base we're going to build and i think i figured it out so it's going to be pretty cool i'm going to still test it a little bit to see how it goes but it's going to be cool i think so something i never tried before never tried to incorporate a prefab into an actual base build other than putting up walls there's a big guy all right let me catch my breath here so another thing about this place too i never mentioned um is on this side of the factory there are gravel bags there's a bunch of them so if you don't want to go to the quarry let's say you're on this side or maybe you're in the north up there in the mountains uh, this is a good spot to come and grab some gravel bags i'm pretty sure they're here it's not cement yeah they're back there On the right side. I think I'm on the wrong side here. We gotta keep going. Oh, these buildings over here. I'm sorry. Those are the wrong ones. They might have something in them too, but I was I was really talking about these three here. And this is the office building I was mentioning too that has I want to say four or five lockers in it. And there's our garages. So we have one, two, three. There's six of them. And this is not easy to do because of the mech that patrols. So I'm going to keep our bag right here. Yeah, that's a good spot. Let me catch my breath here. Give this guy a timeout. <laughs> All right, what's in my bag again? Because if I can store something in here, that'd be great. Okay, we can store this. Perfect. Okay, trainer's axe is there. Um, I have coffee on me for some reason, so we'll drink it. We're gonna eat these as well. Yeah, he's the one I have to worry about. He's really the only one you have to worry about. Unless you jump in this building, then there's this other guy over here you gotta pay attention to. The other mech.
Which side is it? Is it over here? Yeah. Okay. I had to pick the right door. Okay, so... Let's search in here first. Some 9 mil. And a crowbar. That might come in handy. Uh, anything else? No. So what do we have? One, two, three. See, these are the five blockers I was telling you about. So if you're ever in this building, this is exactly, or this facility, this is where you want to come as well. Don't forget to do this. Unless you're full, you don't have any, any more inventory space anywhere on your person. All right, let's craft these. Let's see what we find in here. Hold on a minute. Got it. Two. Oh, thought I had that. One more. All right. What do we got? Ooh, a deagle. Oh, nice. Don't I have uh, ammunition for that? I think I have ammo for that back at the uh, base. Block 21, we'll take that. 357. I don't know about that. Five five six four five. Another M nineteen. Um, you know what? We might we'll, we'll take it. Take it. Some more nine mil. Wow, we got a lot of nine mil. And nowhere to go with it. Uh, let's put it in our pants. That sounds like a good idea. Pants. Pants, can I put anything else in there? Yes, okay. Uh, I'm not going to take that stuff. I take the crowbar, but it's taking, it'll take up too much space. Whoops. he was facing me <laughs> that wouldn't have been good all right so we have a propane tank which have been awesome because we do need that no way in hell i'm grabbing that and getting out of here all right we got some lead plate so I was going to make 9 mil too, but we don't have to. I might just show you guys it anyway. At some point, we'll make it. What you have to be careful of are these cracks in the doors. If they see you, they will shoot you. And somehow they see you through the cracks. I have no idea how. So you just gotta be patient. Whoop. Come on. Man, come on. Fuel. Damn. 
What do we have here? What is that? Oh, Hellrider body. That's cool. Can I even take that or is that too big? Oh, that's way too big. All right, so we're just going to sit here for a minute, guys. Wait for him to pass. Might as well take a drink of something. Don't want to drink too much and have to pee myself. <laughs> Let's equip this. Now wait for him to stop and turn. Give me a few seconds to pass these buildings. Spray paint, we'll take it. Back up. No. I thought I heard a puppet moving too. Last thing I need is a puppet to break this door open and the mech passes right by me. <laughs> then I die anyway. That'll be... <laughs> Whoa. He didn't turn, so he didn't know I was here. Man. I oh, will take those. Damn. Check in here. Ooh. I think we'll get out of here. got some speed to him all right well that didn't work either for god's sakes i can't seem to find this damn thing um oh where can we go next i really thought that would have it i could do the rest of this place but again i'm i'm out of inventory space and i'm afraid if i make a box and just leave it out here and put stuff in it that it will despawn just like the um the backpack did when I didn't have it in my hands. I don't know. Like, I don't know how, how this game is going to react to something like that. I really don't want to risk it. Um, man, I mean, I guess we can try. I don't really know, guys. Honestly. We can work our way back to the B2 town and this farm. Uh, we didn't hit this gas station before either. So what we can do is run back here. I think that's our best bet. We're going to go west. And if push comes to shove, we will we'll just look at small places along the way. And we'll work our way down to the quarry. Because the quarry should have it. I don't see why it wouldn't. And it's getting dark out too. And I don't like making videos at night. So... Um, First of all, can we make a, what do you call it? Compass. Oh, geez. You can still make a compass. What does it take? One plank, piece of metal, and a toolbox. Do I even have metal? I don't have metal on me, but 
Um, direction relative to the geographic cardinal directions. Okay, I don't. I never really use this thing. Is it? Is it worth it? Is that worth crafting? Will it show me more than? Sorry, than what I have now up top here. Will it give me? Uh, I guess it will give me the east and west coordinates as well. But I don't know if it'll give me like northeast, southwest. You know, stuff like that. I really have no idea. I don't think I've ever crafted that before. But it's simple to craft. Just need a piece of metal. Yeah, I think what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to run back west. Back to our west. And I think what we'll do is we'll stop at these little places here. And then we'll hit the gas station. And then we'll head back to the B2 town. Maybe if we go back there um a carjack would spawn in some of those garages so we'll have to recheck that stuff again i'm sorry i'm going back to an area we already looted um but i really don't have a choice i don't because i'm not finding this damn thing and it's crazy that i'm not finding it even at 1.5 uh, loot multiplier i should be able to find it so that's north yeah we're going west What do we have? 47 minutes. This might be just a short episode, guys. It's just... Man. I don't know. Nah. We'll keep going here. Um, I'll just have to make some adjustments when I'm editing. Do some edits. To make this uh, gameplay less lengthy so we're gonna head west i'm gonna try and hit these places here like a, you never know you never know what you're gonna find in these little farm villages or just farms and so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna jump cut this and once i get to that little uh little farm i will see you guys then All right, ladies and gentlemen, I made it to the B2 gas station. I decided to come here because the other places that I ran by weren't going to have a car jack. I guarantee you they weren't going to spawn a car jack because there was nothing there to spawn. Um, a building to spawn that in, I should say. So I came here instead. To see if we can try our luck here. And I figured we're going to end the episode at this gas station once we clear it. So that's what we're going to do. Bag. Where'd the bag go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Good grief. Um, so I want to grab these arrows. It just wouldn't have been worth it. To stop these other places that I passed. There's just, just nothing there. This is going to be one of the best spots to look for carjack. I'm going to leave this on the road until we get to the quarry. They really do. I think I have the best shot at finding it there. And on the way there... We can stop and drop off our stuff in the truck that we're going to take the wheels from. Uh, we'll take the tea. Sure, why not? Take an onion. M9 magazine, that's nice. Alright, let's try this a little bit closer. There should be C4 puppets here as well. I could take a piece of metal from one of these cars. We can make a compass.
I went right through the first time, I think. <laughs> Oop. All right, that's the piece of metal we need. Let's take this guy out here. All right, so there should be C4 puppets. I don't know how many compared to last time. And I also waited it uh, until daylight because I didn't have a battery for my uh, NVGs. I don't hear any C4s. keep looking around sorry i'm just being quiet because i'm waiting for them to spawn in Nothing back here. Ooh, knife holster. Awesome. Great find there. That's awesome. Okay. Silver lock. Put that in our boot. Still nothing. Oh, man, I keep striking out. Um, I'm just getting a little disappointed, that's all. I should have found one by now. And a cargo drop should have happened as well. And I'm not getting one of those. Which is also kind of irritating. Uh, I don't know why that is. Plenty of fuel. Another nineteen eleven. Uh I could dismantle that one. Say what? Take our hands. Let's check the other car just in case. Nope. All right. So what we're going to do is do this real quick. Whoops. Disassemble. I don't particularly like the 1911 because it's only able to carry uh, seven bullets in a magazine. And it's kind of shitty. But 45 ammo is easy to find, even though I have 9 mil. But that also allowed me to upgrade this to 100%, which if I want to trade it in, which I most likely will, um, 
I can get top dollar for that. But we are not, we are not doing well with this carjack. Um, what I'm gonna say is, I think what we'll do is we'll head back to the B2 town in next episode. We'll search the garages again one more time, see if we can find it. If not, we'll drop everything off that we don't need in the truck that we're trying to get up and running. And then we're just gonna take a stroll down this road straight to the quarry. And we're gonna check out the mechanics garages and hopefully, hopefully find one. Um, if not, after that, I may just spawn one in guys because I can't keep making episodes trying to find a carjack. It kind of gets, it's definitely boring after a while. And um, you know, if I wasn't recording this, I wouldn't really care, but uh, I just want to keep the progression going in this season. So we, we might do that. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can find one back at the B2 town or at least in the quarry. So that's going to be uh, for episode eight. And we'll make sure that we at least have one when, we, when we're done with that episode, whether we find one or we spawn one in. Even though I say I don't like doing that, in this case, I might have to. So we'll see what happens. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you want to stay up to date with any future videos of mine, hit that notification button. So besides not finding the car jack again, we did do pretty well though. We hit the, uh, the police station and all the garages in the B1 town. We didn't go for anything else. I wasn't really looking to do that. We got two M9 flashlights. The other one's somewhere around here. Um, or did I miss it up here? Yeah, two M9 flashlights. We have some fishing line, which is great. Um, that'll come in handy when we're back at the base. We need to fish. We have a Block 21 magazine, which is a gun I would prefer if I'm going to use 45 ammo. Uh, we also found an M9 mag. We found plenty of 9mm ammo for our HS SF-19. I had to take my jacket off on the way over here just because he was overheating. Um, we also found two peacekeepers as well as some more shotgun shells. So it's not like we did terrible, right? Uh, we found a new gun holster. And we found a knife holster, which is even better. We found a uh, helmet and we also have the night vision goggles now. So next time I find a battery, I will definitely put those in. That way when nighttime does fall, we will be ready for it. But until next time, guys, I appreciate you being here. If you did watch this to the end, thank you so much. As always, take care of yourselves. I'm Citizen Z and I'll see you in the next one.